Shout out, I'm back with another video. This is your first time seeing my prettiest. Make sure you subscribe to this channel because it's fun as fuck. And if you already put a hi, welcome back, honeybees. So, today in this video, I'm going to be reviewing this wig that I got from Trendy Wigs. Okay, you guys, so this wig is not new, it's new to you guys, not new to me, new to this channel, but. This wig is not new. I've had this wig for about uh, a year now, over a year now. Um, it's very cute, as you guys can see. When I wear this wig, I call myself Bianca. Because uh, that's the girl that I am in this wig. Every wig, I'm a different girl. And all their names got to start with B's. So in this wig, I'm a Bianca. So yeah, talk to me nights. My name's Bianca. Hi, how you doing? Okay, so yeah, this it is a lace frontal wig, but you know, I didn't pluck it or anything. And I do need to wash the edges because they looking a little not cute. But um, it is a frontal. Definitely, definitely big hair friendly a lot. Um, now we're going to get into... First of all, let me let you guys know, I had this wig in the back of my wig bin for a long time. And when I'm wearing it today, I realized why I had it in the back of the wig bin. Um, this wig here, it tangles a lot. It tangles a lot, a lot. Let me show y'all what the ends look like. The ends, I hate the ends. I just hate the ends of this wig a lot. I hate them. So, yeah. I actually purchased this wig from a, another wig review. Another girl on YouTube did a review on this exact same wig. Same color, same style, same company, everything. So, I thought it was really cute. And I was like, let me go see, you know, what's up with this wig. So, I got the wig. Boom. Boom. I'm excited. I put the wig on. And y'all, I was scared. Um, I was like, this is not what it was looking like in the video. That's one of the main reasons why I made a YouTube. Because I'm not going to lie to y'all. I'm not here to lie to you guys. I'm going to let y'all know what's up for real. And this wig, although it's very cute, it is not one of my favorites. I had to do a lot of tweaking to this wig. A lot of tweaking. Um, And the way the girl made it look in the video, she just made it look like, oh, it's so cute. So every day, I was like, okay. And this wig was not cheap. I believe I paid about 70 About $78. For this synthetic wig. And it's not high quality. That's what I'm upset about. I'm not upset about the price. So y'all I just did my research. And I am very upset about the price. $120. That is ridiculous. But continue on y'all. I'm sorry. I'm not upset about the fact that it's synthetic. I'm upset about the price. And it's synthetic. And it's not worth. It's not good quality. Like it, it doesn't. It's not equaling. Something's not adding up. Like, I'm not adding two and two and getting BX. Like, this is not it. So, I'm going to show you guys. Oh, I did cut this wig. The ends was so ratchet for a long time. Because this is when I first got into wigs, too. This is not really a good beginner-friendly wig. It's not. I would not recommend this if this is your first time getting a wig. I would not recommend this one. Because this one... Is, this is a baddie right here. Like, she, she's a bad child. She's a toddler who needs to get their ass beat. Um, this wig is, is not a happy camper. So, I did cut the ends because at first I did not know how to take care of them. And they were very, very rough. And I ended up having to cut them. And I also went in with a thinning comb. 
and thin it out and this is before i really knew how to thin it out so yeah look what i did i cut it too high in the back but nobody can really see that unless i tell them it's there so yeah um if you thinning it out make sure you thin it from the bottoms don't thin it all the way up here i don't know what i was doing but yeah i did cut it so it was originally longer this is not a work wig because this wig if you don't put in a ponytail it's going everywhere like if you could see I, it keeps sticking to my lip gloss and i'm getting angry but i'm gonna show you guys what it looked like in the back on my first youtube video wow my first youtube video i'm wearing this wig and you can see how uncontrolled un how out of control the wig was in that video i'm gonna link that video right here i believe it should be right here in the cards you guys click the cards because i always have things in the club in the cards for you guys so i'm going to show you guys how long this wig is and what it looks like in the back i cut it very uneven oh see that got tango right there i cut it very uneven so it, it does look a little crazy but it's nothing that nobody really cares about so that's how long it is okay you guys so i hope you guys saw what i was trying to show y'all i did cut it very uneven but that's okay because like who's really checking for it nobody i assume so um yeah you guys saw what the bag looks like excuse my chair the bag gets really tingled like this is something about this wig that i don't like as well the hair clumps together these synthetic fibers you can tell what's a good synthetic fiber and what is a not so good synthetic fiber. This is not the best quality. That's why I say the price don't match the quality. Like if I would have paid, say, you know what? They have some $30 wigs that are actually bomb. So I don't, I don't even know what to say about this wig. But if I would have paid like 25 to 30 for this wig, I'd have been like, hmm, okay. I know what I was getting into. But this wig was about 80 78 dollars something like that i'm gonna leave it on the screen somewhere and it just it clumps together so bad so you need to carry a brush and this is all the hair that come came out of it in just one day in just one day let's see how much that is this is all from just this week because I clean my brush out frequently. This is just this wig in one day. So, yeah, you guys. It's really not worth the price. You need to carry around a brush with you. So, you can be constantly brushing it, brushing it, brushing it. Which, I would suggest that. I would recommend that with any synthetic wig. Just to keep them looking, you know, nice and presentable. But this wig, like, you need to. It's not just a recommendation. You need to or you're going to be looking crazy out here. It's, it's not a <clears throat> it's not a game with this wig this wig is heat safe though that's the only way i get it to continuously look all sleek and pretty because i have to flat iron it if i don't flat iron it you will see little lumps from where my ponytail holder it will clump together it will get frizzy so you have to flat iron it um i use the wine curl i use the wine curl on the top to make it really flat and yeah um i don't know you guys it's really up to y'all it's very pretty you can't take away you can't take that away from her she's cute she is very cute and she does give off a nice little vibe a nice little y'all know what type of vibe i'm talking about she gives a vibe but is it worth it 
is it worth it let me work it i put my thing and i flip it over hmm, i don't know y'all have to decide because i bought the wig it's too late for me you guys have a chance so weigh out your pros and cons and if you want to buy this wig i'm going to link it down in the description box for you guys convenience and yeah i love you all and i hope to see you in the next one bye